In this presentation, we're going to take a look at one of the many benefits of creating a BIM model inside of the Revit environment. Specifically, we're going to take a look at a product called Autodesk Quantity Takeoff, which is used to leverage the BIM data for estimating purposes. So right now I'm inside Autodesk Revit Architecture, and we have a model of a home. We also have a linked model which shows the truss information imported from Revit structure and we also have a Revit MEP model linked which shows all of the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing data. You can see some of the piping, you can see some of the switches on the wall, ductwork, terminals, etc. So inside of Revit, the first thing we need to do is to export this data so Autodesk Quantity Takeoff can leverage the property information. So we simply go to export, DWF, and we're going to export the current 3D view. And it's just important under the DWF properties to make sure element properties is checked. That way all of the property data will get exported and be embedded in the DWF file. Once that is exported, you open up that file inside of Autodesk Quantity Takeoff. Once in here, I can zoom in and we can see that same information we saw inside of Revit Architecture. But one thing to keep in mind, even though the truss information was a reference file, inside Quantity Takeoff, I can select every stick of lumber and associated cost to it. I can also go right down into my MEP. I can select a piece of flex duct. I can pick an air terminal, and I can associate data to it. By selecting the single click auto takeoff, Autodesk Quantity Takeoff will give me a count of everything in the model. So if I look at my architectural model and we drill into casework, I can come down to one base cabinet, specify the type of takeoff that is, whether it's a count, is it linear, area, or volume that's going to be extracted from that entity. You go through your entitle, entire model and specify your takeoff method. So if I go into flooring, go to four inch concrete, it makes more sense to have a volume associated to that versus a count. If I go down into my Revit links, here's all of my information from my MEP drawing where I can specify my count or linear footage for that takeoff information. Once the type of takeoff is specified, the next thing that you do is drill into your workbook because in your workbook you can then associate cost data. So if I go look at one of those base cabinets, there's one of these in the model. If I go to the properties of that cabinet, I can now come over to cost data and I can associate it, the time to install, what my material cost is, labor cost, maybe some subtract contractor cost associated to that item, and if any equipment is required for installation. Once I go through that and do this to all of my Revit family types, this can be saved as a template project. So the next time I bring in a similar type project into this template, I very quickly can get an estimate just based on all the setup that I've done to this point. Once you have all that information set up, of course you can export and create custom reports from that data.